Hi everyone, let me show you how I did my uh, ranking system, right? Here on the left you see the three UI elements which are updating based on the Z position of the player and displaying the player names here. So let me go to the canvas ranking group. This is a vertical layer group which contains the uh, UI elements with with text fields uh, one of the text fields is representing the uh, ranking number and the second one is representing the name of the player so i have it five times here but i'm using only three of them because i have three players and it's fixed always the player number never changes so i put it hard coded here uh, the rank number is also fixed I put one two three and because i'm not sorting the ui elements here or anything what i'm doing i'm just in the script sorting the players based on the distance and then i just replace the names here yeah so the number one stays always number one what i'm doing i'm replacing replacing sorry uh, replacing the name in this value yeah, and for this i have a script it's called ranking manager and the ranking manager has the values so the name text fields uh, saved here the opponents they are filled on the start and i will show you how i fill them as you can see each of them has the, here a crown script this crown script is putting a crown on the head which you see here on the player who is number one yeah let's go inside the script so on start as you can see i'm searching for uh game objects which have this type attached this script attached and what i'm doing here i'm then going to uh, through of through the array and putting these players with with the name as the key into a dictionary for later to be able to search it and sort them and etc so the checking is happening based of uh, events not directly in the update method you can do it also this way but it would be overwhelming i think and what i'm doing i always want to check it only uh, when some kind of event is happening and in this case i'm checking you know if i add one tube so if i press and add to let the player grow i am executing this core routine to go through all the opponents and update the rank status based on their z position and for that i'm sorting all my players here by the z position z world position and it's sorted this standing so that the index zero one is player number one so then i just go through it check that i do not exceed the length of the elements so i have three only fixed here in this area and i don't want to you know have some errors here and go into it if it's exceeding the length of the array of the text fields uh, also one additional check what I do here is I'm checking if this current player is uh, current yeah player is the player itself and if it is I just put different color to recognize my player or to have it with a different color here the bots are always white yeah and the first one gets the crown put on it I'm using here the more mountains gaming manager which is really really handy I like it to use it. You can trigger this event from wherever you want it, and then catch it in the in your scripts and do do your task. Yeah, yeah, that's it mainly. Uh, so there is no reordering on anything of the UI elements. I'm just replacing uh, based on the on the current index of the player and uh, the name, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting the name from the player. Maybe this is important also to show you here each player. 
uh, as the play UI minute uh, name attached to it and this name yeah, contains the name of the current player and this is it on start so it's a random name generator which is you know you put random names on each of the bots on start and for the play itself is always the name fixed yeah that's it thank you guys i hope this will help you bye bye